Hi, my friends. I am at the site of the family annihilation that took place in Enoch, Utah yesterday. Uh, family annihilation is the proper term for this kind of an event. It's when one family member takes out the whole family. It's usually the father, and that's what happened here. The family is the Haight family, H-A-I-G-H-T. It is pronounced Haight. That's a Southern Utah name. I'm a Southern Utah native. That's how we pronounce it. Um, he was an insurance agent. There has been some information circulating that he had lost his job in the last week or so. It was my understanding he was an independent insurance agent for Allstate, but perhaps Allstate revoked his franchise. We'll have to wait and find out on that. What we do know for sure is that on the 21st of December, his wife, Tasha, filed for divorce. Michael apparently was unaware of this. Um, the divorce filing went through and then the process servers came and found him Tuesday night or yesterday morning. As soon as he was served those divorce papers or not very long after that, he went to the home and took out everybody in the house. His wife, her mother, their five children, ages 17 to four. Ugh. And then he ended his own existence. The city of Enoch is a very little town. It's only got about 7,500 people there. Really good people, really close knit. Everybody knows everybody. And this has been shocking to them. I spent the morning at the house of a friend of mine who is their next door neighbor. And she let me into her house to do some filming. I'll be covering this in a full episode. It'll actually probably be a longer episode. So I'm going to interview some people that knew the family really well. Um, the point of all of this Every time this happens, and the point of what I'd like to discuss on my channel, there's nothing we can do for these people. It's too late for them, but it's not too late for the next family. And until we make it okay for men to get mental health services, until we erase the stigma from getting help, this is going to continue to happen. This man was in crisis. I think what he did was absolutely horrible and cowardly and awful, but he was also probably mentally ill or having some sort of mental crisis at the time. Had he sought help, these kids would probably still be alive. His wife would probably still be alive. It, it's just absolutely, we've got to talk more about prevention and less about who has a gun, who doesn't have a gun. I'm all for a little bit stricter gun control laws, but that's not the answer either. We've got to talk about mental health services. That is that is what it's coming down to. And that's what I'm going to do on my channel and on this episode. So we've got to make it affordable and available to people who are in crisis. Until we do that, these horrible things are going to continue to happen.